The goal of this QRT program is simple, to keep those suffering from addiction out of jail and get them into recovery. The opiate epidemic that's devastating every uh, community across the nation. Um, Sterling Heights was no different. Lieutenant Mario Bastinelli with Sterling Heights PD says police departments must change the way they police in order to tackle the opioid epidemic. And uh, our chief, being a very innovative person, realized that we need to do something different, something outside the box to help our community. That's why he says Sterling Heights jumped at the chance to partner with Families Against Narcotics and be a part of two new programs aimed to get people in recovery and keep them out of jail. One is the Comeback Quick Response Team, the other called Redirect. So I think as law enforcement, we've evolved and we're providing so much more to our community to help with a big problem that's that people are suffering across the nation. And I think that's the key, is law enforcement's kind of waking up and realizing that you need a special tool for a special problem. And now we have that with the Comeback Quick Response Teams and as well as Redirect. These programs are changing the way law enforcement treats those suffering from addiction. The goal, recovery, resources, and compassion. And again, trying to avoid going to jail. Just arresting people over and over and over again is not the solution to this. Linda Davis is the executive director for Families Against Narcotics. She's worked in law enforcement for 19 years as a judge. She's now taking her prior career experience and using it to make a positive change. This is just a program that has grown statewide and we get calls from all over the country to speak about our programming because it works and it's innovative and it's different and it thinks outside of the box and it's really giving people a chance at recovery. And now 15 years after being part of the group that started Families Against Narcotics, she believes the new fight is not the war on drugs, rather a fight to get people help. When you start changing the stigma of addiction to where police officers are really starting to view this as a disease that they can help with uh, and be a partner with, uh, we really have hope for a different kind of tomorrow with drug addiction. So how well is the program working so far? Ahead at five, we're going to speak to one man who says if it wasn't for the compassion of police, the prosecutor's office, a judge, as well as families against narcotics, his life would have turned out much differently. In Sterling Heights, I'm Gino Vici, CBS News, Detroit.